Alright, man, we got big changes coming. Big changes coming to this game real quick. I came, I saw, I came, I saw, I praise the Lord, then break the Lord. And honestly, these are like probably the biggest changes that could ever be coming to this game. Like, bro, like I've never been so hyped for changes in this game in a while. I've never been so hyped for an update. I don't know if you guys saw my division video where I talked about like that new division that could be coming. Well, why would you challenge it again, my man? Destroy. <laughs> Yo, we got new basic trainings coming and this basic I know basic training doesn't sound like as cool as division But man, I don't know if you saw my division video I was talking about how the new division could compare to specialist bonus in Modern Warfare 3 Well now uh, we're getting a basic training that is literally the specialist bonus like no like no not a comparison Literally the specialist bonus, but yeah in the next update We're seeing three new basic trainers come to this game three of them three whole new ones Not just one not two but three one of them which is one that everyone's most hyped about is the specialist bonus now I will get into this okay you know what oh bro what the hell am i doing what the hell wait hold up what bro what am i doing bro. What am I doing? <laughs> Why did I just go in towards the end here? Yeah, best believe I got this, but hold up, let me find uh, let me find what I'm talking about so I can go into more detail for you guys real quick. So yeah, three basic training is coming to this game probably probably on Tuesday, this coming Tuesday, which is mad. I'm too hyped. This is like the biggest update we've ever seen. Or at least the most hyped one anyway. So we've got three basic trainers, one called Specialist, the other called Wanderlust, and the third one is Escalation. Now Specialist is the one that we really want to talk about, which is basically the description for this is earn basic trainings instead. <laughs> Alright, the description for this before I was rudely interrupted is earn basic trainings instead of score streaks. So unlock at 200, 400, and 600 score. You get like a basic training for each of those, and then you get all of them after 800 score. And obviously that resets on death. So li literally the specialist bonus. After eight kills, you'll have every basic training in the game to play with, bro. How am I? Oh, bro, let me let me show you actually. Let me show you all the basic trainings that there is because there's a lot of them. We got hustle, reload faster. Look at all of them, bro. You'll have all of these once you get eight kills. Like it's like basically Modern Warfare 3 was perfect. Perks instead of basic training, so you'd have all the perks and stuff, but now you have all the basic training, which I'm obviously hyped about, bro. This is like such a good change. I've been wanting this in the game for so long, but we've got Wanderlust as well, which is spawned with a random gun. Has up to six attachments. Pressing triangle will always provide a new weapon. What? That sounds weird as hell. That sounds weird as hell. I can tell for a fact people are gonna be doing like mad challenges with that, like, okay, one kill, switch weapon, like to get a nuke and stuff like that. That's what people would probably be doing. That's just like I feel like that's a fun one. But yeah, the third one was escalation, which is shortly after kills, aiming down sights, it's faster and also multi-kills instantly refill. The magazine so i mean i don't know there's a, there's a couple more in there other than the specialist one but the main focus is the specialist one we don't really what well, we i don't know other ones are cool i like that they're adding more things but specialist one is the one like that we're most interested in there we go especially because it was in modern warfare 3 and it was such a big success in that like bro i don't know if you guys played modern warfare 3 because it's quite an old call of duty but i played the hell out of that. that that might be that might be my favorite call of duty if i'm being honest that might be my that might be my best Call of Duty, like for real though. Yeah, that actually might be my favorite Call of Duty, just because it was so fast paced. Obviously it was boosting the ground, it felt nice. Just overall, I feel like that was the best Call of Duty. And obviously that was one of the big features in that game. I get it, it replaces the score streak, so you won't have score streaks when you're using this. I feel like this will still be like a big tactic for people to do. When they're going for like, oh, there's a guy laid down, oh. Yeah, this will be like a whole new tactic for people to do when they're going for like V2 rockets and stuff like that. They will switch it up. They won't use, I don't know, like UAV, counter UAV. They will use especially spawner. You know, it's a little, it's a little breath of fresh air. You know, something different. Although it is going to be kind of difficult without a UAV to get a V2 probably. But you guys know what I'm saying, man. So let me know what you guys think. Whether you're hyped for this, whether you'll be using that uh, basic training. Again, it's a basic training, not a division. At first, I thought it was a, a division, but nah, it's not. Hold up. I feel like more... Is he? Okay, I was gonna say and it's actually called specialist as well So we know it's like the exact same thing again after eight kills you get everything like every single basic training in the game You'll have and like from what I remember bro in Modern Warfare 3 when you got that specialist bonus You felt like a god you was really round quick You felt like you had more health for some reason you felt like you were just above everyone else You had every single perk in the game man. obviously in this game you're restricted to one basic training in that game you was restricted I think it was three perks that you could have let me know what you all think about that man I'm just extremely excited to like try all this stuff man. I feel like it'll be cool we go i also want to know how it feels to like just have every basic training in the game like at once i just want to know how that feels like you'll be running around quick you're reloading quick you'll be you'll be doing everything fast as hell oh i thought i saw him <laughs> i thought i saw him in the corner of my eye i looked back twice 
A lot of people are saying this is going to be like too OP and all that different stuff. But me personally, I'm like, yo, it works really well in Modern Warfare 3, man. So I can't see it going like bad in this game at all, to be honest. There we go. I, I really can't see it going bad at all. I know it seems kind of mad having like every single perk in the game. You know, first of all, you have to earn it by getting like eight kills without any streaks of your own anyway. You have to earn that yourself. And I know eight kills isn't a lot, but like, you know, some people, noobs won't be able to get it. Or at least noobs will find it difficult to get. And then also, once you do get it, you'll be rewarded for it. Like instantly. Like once you go on that streak, you feel a lot more comfortable. Because you notice that when you go on a streak, man, you feel extremely uncomfortable. Like you don't want to push anything because you're scared to lose your streak, all that different stuff. What you do for? But you'll notice that this will give you like a boost of confidence like keep pushing things because you'll be like yo i've got an advantage on this guy right here let me wow let me push the hell out of him showing what's up why why would you do that bro why i hate coming against people that use shotguns i actually hate it there we go yeah i think it's a mad interesting change i feel like it's been wanted in the game for a while too like i've always wanted this in the game a lot of people talked about it towards the start as well now since it was a boost in the ground game people were like okay that'll be a good implementation hold up it's good i think oh no there we go i had to kill him quick he had a shotgun there we go. But yeah, man, I'm interested to hear what you guys think of all this. If you think it's a good implementation, whether you'll be rocking it. No. Oh, my. How? Why would you put a bouncy betty there? Of all places. Yeah. Is he basically training for less explosive damage? Because if there is, oh, man, I'm about to be so happy. I don't want to have to worry about bouncy bettys all the time, bro. I die by them. I get killed by them way too much, so I need something to counteract that, like, for real. I also don't want to have to sacrifice a division. To be fair, I'd just be excited for any update at this point, man. <laughs> like, this game's getting mad stale right now just because we haven't had... Oh, what the flip? Because we haven't had an update in so long that we just really need one. Like we, like, we need an update bad in this game. What was that? It's getting to the point where, like, people... Oh, no, man, I'm just, like, struggling to play this game at this point because we haven't had an update in so long. We need, like, new weapons. Hopefully, new weapons come that day. If you do... If you do, I'll be high. I was mad tempted to... There's a bouncy baity right in front of me, so I'm not even gonna... Teammate, man, why'd you bait me out? I just need something refreshing in this game, for real. I can't wait to, like, open supply drops to get those new weapons. Can't wait to use those new weapons, make videos on those new weapons, man. It's, it's so much I want to do. Even just use this new basic training, like, come on. This game's for real at the point where they need to update it as often as possible. Like, I don't think three weeks, every three weeks, every four weeks is cutting it at this point. We need it a lot more than... How is he not dead? Like, we definitely need it a lot more than that. A lot more than that. If we're going to keep playing the game, enjoying it, then we need it a lot more than that. And I also think that's for Call of Duty as a whole, too. Not even just, like, this game. That should be a thing that Call of Duty does anyway. Like, you know, updates it, like, every week, maybe. Every two weeks at a push. But we need, like, constant updates in Call of Duty to keep it refreshing. I don't know. Like, Fortnite does it perfectly with the amount of updates they do. And of course, I'm not saying it's, like, the easiest of things to do. It's not easy to update your game every week with something that, like, is significant and people will be happy with. But you could do that, man. If you could do something along those lines, then, oh, might not be so good get off of me and me personally i'd be so happy with that sure the community would be so happy with that as well but as of right now let's talk about right now this is a good change coming to world war 2 it's a good implementation there we go get off of me fool so again let me know if you're gonna be rocking that stuff because i am no doubt about that i just hope it doesn't get boring straight away you know what i mean only two people in this game right now everyone backed out oh of course oh, oh he got destroyed he got took off that head glitch like it was nothing it would be crazy if like you could still have score streaks as well as well as the specialist bonus like, could you imagine that like you're getting uavs and ball turret gunners with like full perks man that would be crazy that would be crazy that's where it'd be op but the fact oh he's afk he's afk that's the first time i've seen that i've seen a lot of people like complain about it and stuff but i never really uh you know encountered it myself what the hell look at him look at him wow he's got like his analog stick sitting in a certain position so where uh, he could just like join games and not like be kits for inactivity i thought it only worked in infected though because how do you select your class i don't think it's gonna work too well for him because he can't really select his class unless his a button's held down as well there we go. But yeah, I think this is about to be my final game. I just wanted to talk about that a little bit to you guys. A new implement. I think it's coming this Tuesday. It should be coming. I hope it does. I don't know if I can go another week without an update. If I'm being honest with you, man. I really can't. Like, I'm, I'm on the struggle right now. If I'm being real with you, I'm on the struggle. I need a new update in this game. <laughs> I just need something new. I need something new, man. For real. But yeah, thanks for watching. Definitely smash that button if you did enjoy. I just want to hear what you guys think of this new implementation. Again, you've got specialists. You've got, you've got specialists. You've got wanderlust. And you've got escalation. So... 
quick recap of the three ones that are coming. You got specialist, which is earn basic trainers instead of score streaks, unlock at 200, 400, and 600 scores. So essentially, in team deathmatch, at two kills, you'll get one basic trainer, at four kills, you'll get another, and at six kills, you'll get another one. So, which is actually kind of interesting because if you're playing domination or like some sort of like score based game, then you can still get the perks without even getting kills. So, if you guys play objective, that's pretty good for you. And then obviously, at eight kills or whatever, the 800 score, you get all of them. You get like the specialist bonus, but then you got one which is spawned with a random weapon with six attachments bear in mind so up to now you can only get four attachments but with that you can get six and then finally escalation which is shortly after kills aiming down sights will be significantly faster so i mean i guess it's all pretty cool the main one we're focusing on is the specialist one of course we don't really care too much about the others but i mean if you do let me know in the comments down below but yeah thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one peace